Today we're checking out my in-field drone battery charging solution, the XTAR SP100 foldable solar panel. The XTAR SP100 solar panel is a 100 watt foldable and portable panel that weighs only 10 pounds. The panel is made of a lightweight but rugged material that is very rigid and protects the sun power solar cells very well. The ETEF laminate surface that protects the cells is a newer material that won't delaminate like older flexible solar panels. The whole panel is water resistant and the built-in 9 foot cable is stored in a water resistant side pouch that can also hold other accessories and extension cords. The connected charging cable is a high quality 14 gauge wire with an 8 millimeter barrel connector called the DC7909. This is a common connector on many popular solar generator power supplies and includes a DC7909 to MC4 adapter to connect to even more power stations. If you need additional adapters like an Anderson connector, a wide variety of adapters are available to purchase from the XTAR store and be sure to use the link in the description for additional savings just for my viewers. If you buy the panel on Amazon, there is currently a $30 off coupon you can use and for the $270 price, you also get the EU4S USB charging station, which is a $40 value by itself. Unlike other folding panels that include the USB charging function in the panel itself, XTAR has made this a separate purchase to lower the cost of the panel in case you don't need it. The EU4S charger uses Quick Charge 3.0 and USB Power Delivery 3.0 protocols to fast charge your devices. Many other panels only charge USB at the standard slower rate. With the EU Forest Charger, which outputs up to 45 watts via power delivery, I am able to quickly charge my drone batteries out in the field when there is sun and I don't need a separate solar generator in order to charge. The panel features overcharge, overcurrent, over temperature, and over voltage protection, so rest assured this panel meets all standard safety requirements. The panel is also backed by a two-year warranty and a one-year free replacement along with lifetime technical support so you know you're covered in case of any problems. The panel setup is very quick and easy and there are two foldable stands in the back that allow for various angles to optimize the energy produced by the panel. The sun power solar cells on this panel are up to 23% efficient which is very good compared to other similar panels with only about a 13 to 17 percent efficiency. When folded the panel is held together by two strong magnets and the panel closes with a very satisfying click. Okay so now let's take a look at how much power output this panel can produce in slightly overcast conditions and compared to one of my other larger 160 watt panels. All right so I got the uh, panel on an angle pretty much pointed directly at the sun. It's a uh, bit of a partly cloudy day. It's not totally 100% sunny, but there's a little bit of a tree blocking the light there. Yeah, not sure if the uh, adjusting exposure will help in terms of how much light there is. But anyway, the uh, panel has almost full sunlight. And the uh, EcoFlow is now receiving about 88 watts of power, so almost uh, the uh, full output power of the panel. It's a little bit overcast, so we're not getting 100%. And saying about five hours to charge from 52% to 100% on this particular uh, setup. All right, so just for comparison, this is the EcoFlow 160 watt panel. Similar angle, pointed pretty much directly at the sun. So this bigger panel is outputting about 105 watts. Not 100% sunny conditions. So uh, for the panel size, I'll put it up on the screen here. It's uh, obviously bigger than the 100 watt panel, the uh, XTAR SP100, but uh, not as much of an increase in terms of output, power output, compared to the surface area of the panel. All right, so I'm using the um, USB adapter and uh, outputting off of the uh, Quick Charge 3.0 to the uh, BC8 uh, battery charger. And I'll, uh, I'll link that review in the video description if you want to check out that. But it's just using USB-C and we're getting about 9 volts and 0.7 amps from the panel. 
So yeah, it's definitely using quick charge and plenty of um, output to charge up those batteries. So a variety of other reviews have also shared this, that the SP100 does produce more output power compared to other similar panels of the same size and category. And so you can see it um, and in this chart here that it is able to charge up a lot of these power stations a lot faster. And, and really that's the uh, ultimate, ultimately the, at the end of the day, that's the thing that's most, most important here is that the efficiency of the panel allows you to charge up your um, power generators a lot faster and um, much quicker than other 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 solar panels. So in conclusion, this is a really good value for the money, I think, uh, compared to some a lot of the other panels out there that are of similar size and quality, and of course, uh, it's in the similar price range as well. If you guys uh, have something that is of a similar category as this panel, let me know in the comments below and let me know what your results have been you know, uh, for your particular solar panels. I'm kind of curious to see how some of your equipment compares to this particular one. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.